the slow demise of the common love affair. One, you met this boy on the subway. His playful smile dragged the happiness out of the darkest corners of you. You let him kiss you until you could not remember how to breathe. You swore the cutest thing you ever saw was his face when he was sleeping. Three, when you met his parents, they invited you back for Christmas dinner. His father leaned in and whispered that you were the one they had been waiting for their son to fall in love with. Four, for your birthday, he bought you a sweater. When you told him you loved it, he declared proudly that he got it on sale. You could not help but let the apologies spill from your lips when you found you did not fit inside of it. Five, there was a pile of his clothes gathered on your floor. His toothbrush waited in the bathroom. When you told him you loved him, it dripped from your lips like drool when you slept. He no longer remembered what it meant, but you could not imagine an every day without him and that was enough. Six, you are 22. You are standing in your kitchen. The sink is full of dishes that smell like rotten fruit and stale dish soap. Today is your birthday. He does not remember. Seven, there's no longer a toothbrush waiting for him in your bathroom. These days, you spend your nights telling yourself that he would have left anyway, that it wasn't your fault, that you were never meant to be, but it doesn't work. You wanna go back to the day that he left, tell him how the empty bed keeps you tossing and turning, and when you do sleep, you wake up at 3 a.m. with tears on your cheeks. This gutting is something you never expected. So when you inevitably see him invading your favorite bar with some brown-haired girl who is more beautiful than you have ever felt, do not drink until you have the courage to tell him how much you miss him. Please go home. Go to bed alone. Try to remember who you are without him in the morning.